Thank you for your presence. I want to thank you for the name this morning. I know you're wonderful people. It's also a ground of, of learning. Sometimes God has brought different way out of teachers. It's part of the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. I will not be long because I know you've been waiting already for so long. Actually, my, I've, been, I've been crazy before. Now with time, I've learned to respect time. Amen. God bless you. Please have a seat. God bless you. What a joy. I was at uh, my friend church where the, uh, he's working under one bishop. So, uh, Apostle Pastor Paul is working under Pastor Stephen. So, I spoke to his uh, bishop if I could come and speak the word. That's when I was coming from Russia. Back in. Can you first welcome again, Pastor Paul? is my friend. My childhood friend. What a surprise I see my daughter, Diane. She's a member of my church. She's in church. She works in the Department of Finance. She's a banker. A manager of the bank. And she's a business. She's an essay for business. But I think since I'm an essay, I also come for for the session. Then your victory is secured. Then your stability is secured. 
then your faith shall be protected. Your life, your life of prayer shall preserve. Because if you don't, even the scripture says, even the elected one, the possibility for them to fall is maximum. You know what? They said that that happened in the prophetic ministry. And the people they found never again to the right of the prophet. People they found never again to go to church because you know, especially the past four years, the scandal which was experiencing. The duty of the devil is to again to rob the people of faith, to stop the people to trust, to stop the people to believe. Man, that you, a child of God, a child of impact, will be a sort of man reason. This reality is we shall be with them, we shall grow with them, we cannot stop them. It's like the, the parable of the soul, the seed. Listen to what happened. They all said during the day they planted a good seed. In the night when they're resting, the enemy came and planted also a bad seed. Now the Bible said that in the morning when they wake up, the they servant, they said, the master, even if we planted good seed, at least that seed, where are they coming from? He said, creature, do you give us permission to approach them? And listen, the master was saying, they should let them do it. Together, so it means we can't stop this evil, even though we pray, we shall grow together with them. Only the day of harvest is coming that day when the trumpet shall blow, when God Himself shall separate a good seed and a bad seed. But now, when you are surrounded, you are growing, your neighbor is bad, it's an organic person, your neighbor is a satanist, your neighbor does not believe in God, your neighbor has the covenant of an evil spirit. After the covenant of the day, now you as a child of God. What sort of mannerism you need to adopt? Or what you need to do is to pay off. Because you need to live a, a life of overcomer. You need to conquer the challenge. You need to conquer the world. You need to conquer the challenge. Every day when you are praying, even also you the enchantment. It's evoking the demons. It's evoking the spirit. That's the reality we are living in. Even though we pray, there's not a church that can stop this trend. Because until the day of harvest, as the master said, don't allow them to go. Together, we shall grow together with them. What will they demand the separation if the harvest we are waiting? Amen. Yes. They want somebody. Yes. It means this manifestation of these prophetic realities which are surrounding our generation, like apocalyptic event, they don't define the end of the world, just just showing where we are going. Oh, yes. Because the time Jesus is not coming for the church that is sick, he's coming for the church that must be perfect and sound. Yes. Until we reach that stability, that level. They will never say anything up and down. We are going through the book of Revelation, then we're going to unveil to you the book number one, the two prophetic material that are needed for you to survive these realities that are surrounding our generation, Amen. such as anger, disease, problem, frustration, disappointment, rejection, battles. How do you win? You without this mentality, without this mannerism, you are at risk. Now listen what John saw in Revelation chapter 6. We'll start from this one. I'm going to prophetess. I love your reading. You help me. You remember that my pastor man was trained in English. I was trained in French. So sometimes there's some way of a problem to pronounce them because of my French accent. Like some of you also, if I tell some way, you can't pronounce them properly because you are not a French accent. But then if I say, can you say no? Bonjour. Can you pronounce? Bonjour. You see, you see, you see, oh, Joel. So they that kind of thing. <laughs> but at least quite, I'm a very fast learner. I know also some few languages. I like and learn. I try to pick a day and there to make sure that at least I can communicate in a few minutes. So we're going to read Revelation chapter 6. These are attractive things that are happening in our time. It was given the grace to unveil what was coming ahead. It's so that when you're transported into the realm of the spirit, because there are things you can't see with your physical eyes when you're operating in the flesh. Remember a few days ago, I teach to you to say that if you want to do what is right, you must desire to have revelation. Now, this man was taken into the third heaven. He was there. And when he was there, he began to witness what is about to take place in the human domain. And the human domain already won the decision of the realm of the spirit of deciding People were not conscious of what is about to take place in the domain. Because these beings that have been released, they are not going into another domain. They are coming into the domain of man with an assignment, with a mission. But when the people they are being seen, they are planting, they are doing whatever they are doing, but these beings are penetrating human domain with an assignment. Now John said, as I watched the lamb open up the seven seals, 
and I heard the voice of the four living creatures saying with a voice like a thunder come and I look he was observing the old a white horse this one has already happened before and it had right down had a bow and a crown was given to him he came out to conquer it and to conquer that Jesus has already come that they face the things that's happening then number two when he opened the second one what is happening he heard the voice of the living creature saying come out and another horse bright red listen another horse bright red each ride was permitted I don't even know if I said each ride was given a permission was given an authority when they opened the second seal he was able to say and they said each ride it was a red one and on each ride it was being granted the authority in human that authority is not for them to operate in heaven these are the things that are going to take place in new mother men. What was the permission was given? Say it was given a permission to do what? To take peace. To take peace from where? From the earth. To take peace from the earth. That permission of that cause. These are the realities are surrounding our dispensation, are surrounding our time. And whether to, if, if there is a determining factor for success in any given domain, whether in a nation, whether in a marriage, is peace. When there's no peace, people can grow. When there's no peace, people they can produce. When there's no people, people there's no peace, people they can never maximize their potential. Don't God give them potential. Are you not making sense here? Now these beings, this force, when it's being released into human domain, it's being released into human domain with a force. Get this one first. With a power. That can cause the things that prophetic realities are surrounding our generation. We can't stop. They are coming from heaven. They are coming from above. Because these are the fulfillment we are surrounded with the apocalyptic event. They are coming to take peace from the earth, number one. So people, they should slay one another. People, they should kill one another. These are the influence, the people that are coming to influence the nature. Some may not have the desire to kill. May not have the desire to do evil. But because there is a force, remember behind every action there is a force. Amen. Behind every action there is what? There is a force. Nobody does things by itself. When you see somebody operating in a particular manner, don't just judge the person. Don't understand why kind of the spirit is motivating the person to act or to speak in a such manner. Because these people, when they are coming, these beings when are being released, they are coming into human domain. And number one, to take place this, and number two, to cause people, to influence people. When you go to Congo, where I'm coming from, you can find somebody, a take a baby. Who knows nothing? Who's not been a threat? Putting him on the giving him what I'm talking about. Pounder is pounding the paper. We were watching some of the things a journalist from his father Arabia who was being cut in the cutting the next hour, taking just cutting just exactly like eating the power. What is it? What is it? A human nature. What is it? The love of God. Now imagine all this evil we are surrounding them. These people they are coming to take peace away the heart of the people. To take peace away the family, to cause family to hate one another. Husband and the wife to fight. People they don't have in church and nobody else can find this sister, this sister, they don't agree. They don't want to have each other. The problem there is a force that is influencing that nature. That influencing that character. Now, number two, now listen again. So they were coming to take peace and cause people to slow, to slay each other. And it's given a great sword. That was a force, the power. When it's coming, you know the domain. And when they are being released, people they are not happy. That's what you can find. No matter how much the church is praying, peace, peace. They shall always be troubled because these beings they are part of radio of our dispensation. They are part of the generation. They are already been released into human domain. But there is a matter reason. If we adopt it, regardless of this being being released in the presence of human domain, we shall still strive. We shall still remain victorious. You shall still live in your life of peace. You shall have peace in your business. You shall have peace in your life. And the Lord shall protect you against the people that kill life, that take life. Because God shall always watch over you. The possibility is there, regardless of these realities, you can still have peace. Regardless of this being, being released in human domain, you can have peace in your marriage, peace in your business, peace in your career, peace in our ministry, peace in whatever we shall do. And we shall be exalted. We shall not fall into the trap of the wicked people. We shall always be preserved by God. Nobody can take our life. Even though the dead can leave the people.
people want to influence them to shoot you, something will capture them. You can't shoot what belongs to God. You can't shoot what God has protected. You can't destroy what God has found you. Now this is what happened again. When he opened the dead seal, the living creature said, and I look and behold a black horse. And if neither had a pair of scar, it is a normal affection that affected the economy. That the disturbance of the economy. He was having a scar in his hand, and I heard the voice sing like a voice. To me, the, the voice was seemed to be a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quarter of wheat for the denarius, and three quarters of bale for the denarius. But now listen to the statement here. That's what I love. And this is the things I want to touch for. But he said, when this being they were coming, we can find the fourth one. He, thought he was given the power to do what? In number seven, then we'll come and read the, the last one. He was given the, the power to, he, he was a power, a power, is it power or power? What do you call it? Power. 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 And it was, the name was death. This was his name was death. And this is what happened. He was, made, he was sustained, accompanied by the heat. And, and they were given the authority over the four of the earth, the awful call of the earth, to do to kill men by sweat, by famine, by pestilence, and by what is on the earth. They would have caused all this kind of scandal, disease, accident, mystery of things. That's why you are under the sound of my voice and you are a child of God. I want to assure you, you shall not be victim of sightings. Even though you are on a plane it's about to crash because of your praises. That plane shall stand. Even though you are in a car that is about to experience an accident, because you are there, you are not supposed to be a victim. A prayer for this thing. You shall not die in an accident. I want to assure you, you shall die satisfied of your time, satisfied of your days, fulfill your purpose, enjoy your purpose. If you give me a better man, that shall be your portion. That shall be your portion. Now, listen to all things. When this thing will be released into human domain, to take life, to cause people to die by disease, by anger. Now listen to the instruction. He said the man who was sitting, the ten and four chairs, he does on four chairs and four people. And maybe five chairs and four people and five people. Let me explain what was happening. I just come with them like this. Oh, give another chair, another one. Now put one in the middle. So I need four people. I need four people, it's okay. Prophet is you sit here. Prophet is here. Or maybe I'm not reminded this because I thought the big voice. <laughs> oh, understand this what happens to me. So you sit here, Mama. My son sit here. Dad, come and sit there. My daughter, come and sit here. I want you to, to narrate you, then I explain to you something. You see, John is witnessing this event at taking place. You know, the, you know, the one who seated on the, in the midst of the four living creatures at the throne of Christ. Woo! That Jesus. Amen. That the one. You know, he's surrounded by the four living creatures. Remember the throne of God surrounded by the two. Uh, that was the four living creatures. One for the face of a lion, the force of an eagle, a cow, and a son of man. So when the elders, the living creatures, they will say, come and see. They will try to allay the consciousness of John. So that he can come and warn people. Because you need to ascend to the highest. That's why the duty of the man of God is to ascend to the highest, Amen. to receive from the top, yeah. to receive from the source, the mindset of God, the revelation of God, the purpose of God, of, of, of all that will say the people concerned the nation in that particular season. So if they were speaking, they were inviting to witness. The seal have been released. People are going for it, but they know that they've released already a beast. They've released into a beast to come to take away the beast. People are just enjoying it. But they don't have to release a, 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 a being to come and cause anger, to cause people to die by anger. Look what's happening. There's a crisis, no rain. As I'm telling you right now, in Zambia, we're going to see a problem of shortage of millennium. Then the waves, I don't know, Congo, what shall happen. Because in Congo, four, five months ago, a bag of millions even went up to 70 US dollars, calculated. And a 1,000 something land. How many people are full of a salary? There was no rain between our anger because all these things that realities are surrounding our dispensation. We can't do anything because they were being released. The scripture has to come to be fulfilled. So now what that I'm trying to say is a mannerism which a child will when you adopt regardless of these realities, you shall not be affected. You shall be less anger from afar. 
You shall witness crisis from afar. You shall witness problems from afar. That your house and your children and your business shall be preserved because you have a mannerism that needs a fit for such a time. Amen. Am I making a sense? So now when the people release and the voice of the one sitting on the throne, who's the boss of the boss? Who's the authority? Now listen to what he said. He heard the voice of the one. As we are going into your man domain, as you are going to take peace away from the earth, as you are going to cause people to die by fire, as you are going to bring death in different fashion, by disease, by whatever form, but remember down there, don't damage the oil and the wine. Jordan was standing on a mountain. 
He explained the mystery, the things that are hidden in the world, the things that are hidden in the world. Then I understand the reason why such an instruction was so powerful. You understand the reason why they said, Don't damage the oil. Don't damage the oil. So it means if you don't have this characteristic of mention, regardless of your faith before, there are people with faith and foreign. They die not having received or expressing the things promised from God, they just saw them from afar. Me, my prayer is everybody who's in this commission. You must enjoy the benefit of the promise of God. You must celebrate and feed and live for them and walk with them. I'm blessing somebody. Now, Mama, let's go with you. Verse 8, Judges 9, verse 8. We are going down there and understand why the oil must never be damaged and why the wine must never be damaged. Let's go, Mama. It says, one day, one day, the trees went out. The trees went out. You're about to pick people, huh? To anoint a king. To anoint a king. For themselves. For themselves. <laughs> they said to the olive tree. And they went to the olive tree. The oil tree. <laughs> Number one, understand the reason why the oil must never be damaged. They went to the olive tree. Olive tree is a tree that produces oil. The man making sense here. Olive tree because we have oil because of olive tree. Amen. It's a tree that produces oil. Amen. So they went to the tree of olive oil. Amen. They said, What, Mama? Be our king. Can you be our king? Yeah. Can you dominate over us? Now, this is the response of the olive oil. It says, What? But the olive tree answers. But the olive tree answers. Should I give up? Should I give up? My oil. My oil. By which both. By which both. God. God. And man are all that. Wow. So the reason they should not damage the oil because it's through the oil God is finding honor. Wow. It's through the oil God is getting honor because the oil is thing. Should I abandon my position? When a man sees me, he's honored. When God sees me, he's honored. So it means the oil that the people they dedicate their life, their business, their money, their health, their time to honor God. Those who shall honor God in a such a time with their money, with their talent, with their skill, they shall never be affected. They shall never be damaged. Because any such was here, don't harm the oil and don't harm the wine. The oil that the people have accepted to honor God. When you honor God with all what is within you, automatically a candidate of exemption. Today we are failing to be a candidate of exemption because believers we are failing to honor God with our money, with our talent, with our health, with whatever God has placed inside us. As a example, what's happening? We are failing. We are dying like a million man. The truth of the heart is to honor God. You must be that kind. Any woman. A man who honor God is a picture of the Lord. Yes. That's what the instruction. God said, How can I destroy something that gives me honor? Yeah. How can I permit something that glorifies me to be damaged by the wicked spirit? Oh, are you sure God can glory, can honor through your money, through your health, through your time? How is God glorified? Honor. When you talk about honor, you know what it means. About honor, you know the intensity involved. Yeah. The only three say, Should I abandon? I'm satisfied with my position to provide honor to God, to provide honor to people. The people that honor God and that honor men of God, they are candidates of exemption, they are candidates of preservation, they are candidates of protection, they are candidates of favor. It can affect other people because your life you have chosen to honor God. God shall protect your life, shall protect your business, shall protect your health, shall protect your family. Because he knows if you are affected, he's always affected. Yeah. And the instruction was clear. Don't damage the oil. Because that's where I found honor from. Can you show me this again? I am the oil. I am the oil. The oil. Amen. Don't harm the oil. Amen. 
Make sure they all have enough. Make sure they all is in good health. Make sure they all have got money. Make sure they all have got promotion. Make sure they all have got satisfaction. I prophesy upon your life. And now they shall affect them. But you shall be preserved. You and your family. You and your children. You shall be preserved. Because you are the oil. I know. 
know you are wet to your man, don't remember. Remember, Allen is the oil. He's there. I'm born under him. So don't touch him. Don't touch his job. Don't tell his family. You try to touch him, you shall meet me.
I just said, my wife, relax. I am the old. I'm not the victim. If I was not there, then this would have happened. The mistake they therefore want to kill these people by accident when I'm the boy is really there. How yeah. <laughs> do you kill the boy? Because the instruction was clear. Anything the Lord declared is sustained by His word. There's not a powerful life that is life that is sustained by the word of God. See that finish for me. I went from that many days and approach. If we adopt this mannerism of honoring God inside this possession, trust me, others will cry, others will go down, others will keep on going up. People will wonder what kind of a magic, what kind of a power do you have? You just pronounce to them, I've chosen to honor God, and God has chosen to honor me back. When you honor Him, He honors you back. You only give from God what you give.
message of hope is coming. The message of revelation is coming. The message of change is coming. This is who we must be. When we begin to reflect to make sure God found the happiness in us. When we delight ourselves to God and we make the soul of the people in this church, make sure to that problem that people in church they have a problem. When people they see you, they are even afraid to add their weight. Because they don't know what how we shall transform that word and lie against them. People they start avoiding you. You know that people, people they avoid them not because they want to want to solve it, because they don't want problem. They are running for their life. And such people they can never be protected. You know that sometimes some people they can even pray for you for virtue or just because they're kind. Look the example of Dorcas. You know what she experienced this lecture? Because she was a wife. Everyone was going before to testify because of this woman. My child has a cross. Because of this woman, I've got something to put on my child. This is what the church is always looking for. People, they must find the love. They must find the reason to continue living. They must find the reason to love, to fall in love of God because of us. When we live such a kind of life, the Lord says, What? We shall be preserved. We shall be preserved. This let me tell you to conclude to sustain what I'm saying. In Psalm, Psalm 41, verse 1 of the Father concludes. This is the prophecy for the people that have chosen to be the wise. It says, Should I abandon my position by which both God and man are finding happiness from? Because of me, why? People are happy. Because of me, why? God is happy. They're talking about the wine of the bar. They're talking about it's just symbolic. There are people, you know, why? Go you can take one, even a little wine. You get excited. Even if you want to go, you talk. You can even dance when there's no music. <laughs> what can make you dance without any music? It can make you see vision without any music. <laughs> Do I? I'm telling you, even though you are sad, you start just laughing by yourself. Even though your English was broken, one can make it correct. <laughs> I've seen more times that people they speak proper English. If you speak proper African, we are more. That is true now. That is true But you've never been. <laughs> Why? You can make you speak. <laughs> I'm telling you. We just have a whole year now. We are more. That is true now. That is true now. Sim, 
Bendice el princesa de María. Bendice el princesa de Ofelia. Hacer un chamo que afecte el Señor Señor de Dios, se le puede seguir, se le puede seguir. you to make your personal vow to God. Say, Lord, give me grace to honor you with my life, with my skills, with my health, with my time. Listen, unless there is many a circumstance beyond your vow, we're never available. Honor God. Be in his presence. Praise him. Worship him. Serve him. Give the best of yourself. When you do like that, you shall be what you call a subject of that experience. Don't arm the oil and don't arm the wine. Just say, Lord, give me grace on my own. I can't. I need the Holy Spirit to empower me, to give me the wisdom, to give me the capacity, to give me the ability to know how to go about. Lift up your voice and begin to praise the Lord and give your grace in the name of Jesus.